Hello everyone, my name's Tekker, and I'm here to show you how to install Half-Life 1 mods, like BrainBread. First off, you need to realize that Half-Life 1 source is not Half-Life 1, and you can install Half-Life mods on Half-Life source, because that's the source engine. That's why it's called fucking source. We're gonna use BrainBread as an example. Go to the main BrainBread page, which I'll put as a link on the screen. Click the download link, as shown in this shiny little picture here. We're going to use the file front mirror for this, just because that's where I got it when I was taking these pictures. You have to click on the BrainBread.exe thing on the left, because if you click on the things on the right, it opens their site. All you really have to do here is click on the download down button and wait for the download to finish. After the download is complete, open whatever folder you downloaded it to and click on the installation thing. That'll be this little application shown in this picture. This part is important. This is where you install the game too. Now I've blanked out my Steam account name for security reasons, but you install it to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, and then whatever your Steam account name is on the blank spot. And then in that folder, double click the Half-Life folder, and then mash next until your download is complete. If you don't have a Steam account, this isn't going to work. But if you have Half-Life, you should be able to get a Steam account. If you don't have Half-Life, it's only $10 through Steam. And along with it will come all these fantastic mods. Which, really, if you're into first-person shooters, is all you're going to need unless you're a graphics tart. After you've finished the installation, just restart Steam, and it'll show up in your games list like so. Any model changes you've done to your original Half-Life folder in Steam will carry over into whatever mods you're playing, as long as the mod doesn't use a separate file itself. Like if you're using the Blue Shift HD pack for Half-Life, changing the MP5 into an assault rifle, and you download Sven Co-op, you'll be still using that assault rifle, but if you change the models in the Sven Co-op folder, they won't change in the Half-Life folder. So if you want to change your models for just one mod, you can, and if you want to change them for all your mods, you can. Mods like BrainBread and Residual Point use their own models, though they do use a lot of the same sounds in some of the NPCs, so don't be afraid if your shotgun cocking sounds a little funny. Well, I hope this has helped you, and if you're still having problems, you can private message me or leave comments. And I read all the comments and stuff, so I'll get back to you. But you have to realize, if it's source, this is not going to work. And anyone who argues otherwise is a fucking retard. Because it doesn't, and that's why you have problems. And, uh, as far as Half-Life 2 mods and Source mods go, those all download into your Source mods folder, as opposed to Steam Apps, your thing, Half-Life. So you don't have to go and download them to Half-Life 2, they go into Source mods. That's the only difference. Well, eh, yeah, that's it.